SharePoint 2013 brings with it a way to hold a forum-like discussion, complete with all the bells and whistles that you would want. This is accomplished using the new community site template. Now I'll walk you through a sample community site so you can see how you can take advantage of this functionality in SharePoint 2013. So what you're looking at currently is a SharePoint 2013 community site, but if you wanted to make one, here's how you would do it. You would go to, first of all, site contents. Within that, you make a subsite. And then you would choose the community site template, which is right here. And here it tells you exactly what it's all about, how you can hold discussions in the community site template. This has to be a subsite or it could be a top level site. So you could use the community site template as a top level site in a site collection as well. Let's go back. Okay, so I'm signed in as a owner of this site, Asif Ramani. And because of that, I see the community tools to be able to manage the discussions and create categories, etc. And I'll go over some of these things. The main thing to note over here is the discussion list that is in the middle. The discussion list is the focal point of the community site because that's what it's all about. You're holding discussions, you're having conversations with your colleagues who are also part of the site directly in this discussion list. Underneath that, there's a widget over here showing exactly how many members, discussions, and replies there are. And under that is the uh, contributors. So there's me, there's also Christine and Aaron. All of us are members of the site. Well, actually, I am the owner of the site as well, so I can, I can uh, hold discussions and manage the properties and security of the site. Let's go into one of these threads that are already there. There's a new thread for mountain bike 100 silver. Okay, so here's the thread. It was started by Christine and I replied to it. Somebody marked it as a best reply right here. Here's the information that I provided in my reply. And here's, once again, it's showing the original reply here. This was, of course, marked as the best reply, but this was the original reply. And this is the reply from Christine saying that she appreciated the inform information that I provided. As you can see, there's a way to like a post. There was, there's a way to reply to the post, just like you would assume in any forum or discussion-based list or site out there. Let me nav navigate back. Now the site layout could be changed. You could have these widgets showing up on the right side, but because of the resolution that I'm using, I chose to put them at the bottom. Changing around the layout of this site, and for that matter, changing the security of this site is very similar to using a team site, because this is also wiki pages here that are being utilized to manage the content. You can click on edit and start managing exactly where the content goes, where the web parts go. Same thing, you can go to the security or permission settings from the site settings page and then go ahead and manage the security of the site there. Let's go ahead and start a new thread over here. So I'm going to click on new discussion. And mine's going to be about some new bike shorts that we're introducing. So introducing new bike shorts. And then I'll put in the body of information. So here's some information about the actual post. Now this is not a question, so I'm not going to mark it as a question. I will pick a category. These categories were designed earlier by going to this categories list. I'll go ahead and mark it as clothing. Click on save. Because it's a discussion list, the newest discussion appears on the top. Now anyone else is able to come to this post and reply to it or like it, whatever they want to do. So I'm going to go ahead and go to a different window where Aaron Painter is signed in. Okay, here's another window. Aaron Painter is signed into the site. I'm going to go ahead and refresh this page by clicking on this icon here. So the new thread appears. I'll go into the introducing new bike shorts. And here's my post. So let's say if he wants to like it, you can click on the like button. Here it is. So what has happened right now is in the news feed of Aaron right here, 
it will show that Aaron has liked this particular post and also in my news feed so the author's news feed it would also show that Aaron has liked the post that I've put in there now let me go in as another user so this user this time is Christine once again I'll refresh the site go into introducing new bike shorts and here she's going to go ahead and reply to this okay so this is her reply she's looking forward to it hits the reply and there it is at any point in time if you want to discover exactly all the different threads that are on the site you can click on the categories here and see the different categories accessories bikes general and clothing if i click on let me click on accessories this time here's the thread regarding accessories and here are the folks who are the top contributors as you can see that the contributors have these icons over here next to them next to their name these are badges so a couple of badges here out of five mean that I have been really active on the site uh, Christine has a special badge I'll talk to you about that in a second and Aaron has this one badge over here so as you're replying to content as you're creating content as you're liking content everything gives you points let me go back in as myself as the owner of the site and show you where this is configured Here it is, back is Asif. I'll click on the reputation settings over here. Since I'm the owner, I can see this. That creating a new post gives me one point, replying to a post, 10, and so forth. And then once you have so many points, you receive achievement levels, which award you badges. So that's how you're able to earn badges onto the site as well. Now keep in mind that these badges are very scoped to this particular site and they don't transfer to other community sites. It's only on this site. Other community sites would have their own badges. So your reputation does not transfer over. One last thing, an owner of the site, in this case me or the moderator for the site can also assign badges to members. If I feel somebody is worthy of a badge, I can click on, for example, Aaron Painter and assign him from the moderation tab a badge and it's going to be a gifted badge I can make him expert or professional this different badges can also be customized so instead of expert and professional you could have some other type of badges that you wanted let me go ahead and assign him expert and click on save and now Aaron has been awarded the expert badge Here it is. So you saw how a community site can be used to design a true forum-like experience within SharePoint and to facilitate discussion around a particular subject area.